Thoughts on the balance, or I guess the, the choice of entrepreneurship versus corporate America? I think that you need a mixture of both to be successful. Mm. So I think that if you are a single individual and you want to be an entrepreneur, you need some corporate America uh, experience to be successful. Reason being is that you have to know how they work. Corporate America has a lot of different pieces of it that you wouldn't even know about. Mm. Uh, not just branding, but you have legal, you have compliance, you have supply chain, sure. you have finance, which is the obvious one. Uh, but these are areas that you have to be good at if you want to own your own business because you're mm. going to have to be all these different things at once if starting off by yourself. If you are in a relationship with somebody mm. and possibly hopefully married with somebody, you can kind of do a play on both where you have one person as the corporate person, mm. which gets the, you get the benefits of having um, benefits, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like health benefits, yeah. and then you have the other person kind of shooting the dream as being an entrepreneur. I am fortunate to be in that latter scenario where my wife is a full-time entrepreneur, she owns her own business, mm. a very successful social media business, Diamond Mind Social Media. Hey, um, check it out. <laughs> check I'll it put out. it at the bottom. Here. I'll make sure. Um, and I work corporate for the bank, and it works out where I get to help her with her business because I have the mindset of make sure mm. she's compliant, making sure she's doing everything the legal way. Tax, which is a huge yeah, thing for, for business, sure. like tax benefits, how you get benefits off of tax benefits, or how how do you not do anything wrong with your taxes? We have to pay back a lot of money to the government. Mm. Um, so I think that you need corporate America to be a you need a corporate America experience to have, be a very successful entrepreneur, or you need somebody on your team that has very successful corporate America experience. Sure. That's, that's either one of those areas. So you could be a great you could sell a million of this of, 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 of a product, but you need somebody on your team that is great in corporate America, mm -hmm. so you don't fall into any of those holes because you could be a millionaire and be broke. Um, a year later, if you yeah. don't manage your finances right by having the wrong, the right team, or be a millionaire and go to jail because taxes yep. Yep. <laughs> have been evaded exactly. over the past exactly. so many years. Exactly. We've seen that in a lot of different instances, right, with celebrities and just accountants that have uh, gotten over on them. Mm -hmm. So no, I, I think that's a very good point, yeah. man. Like for me, I look at it as like um, I'm definitely all in favor of building our own table because yep. I think that's what it's going to take to really have uh, economic power in, in our community. Um, I think that's what it's going to take to empower ourselves and even hire uh, or be intentional about hiring more African Americans because I think that evolves purpose and allows people to get uh, learn different skill sets so on and so forth. Um, but I am not opposed to corporate America because um, it teaches a lot of discipline. Mm -hmm. You know, it teaches certain values. It allows you to see things. From a corporate perspective, as it relates to you know working for shareholders, mm -hmm. like how to be in compliant, yep. um, manage risk, so on and so forth, um, and most importantly, I think it can finance your vision or your purpose. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when you're doing both, you have to be able to time manage. <laughs> and like, not only do you have to manage your family, but like managing a full time uh, corporate role as well as a full time entrepreneur role. Uh, I mean, it's going to take, you know, efficiency, you know what I mean? You just can't <laughs> step out and think, oh, I'm just going to throw stuff out every now and then. If you really want it to truly be successful, um, you have to be intentional about the time that you spend in certain places and what you're, uh, and what you're pushing for. So, so, I mean, I think a lot of people want their entrepreneurial business to be a corporation eventually, right? If you sell, yeah. if you sell hats, you want your hats to eventually be a corporation, sure. right? So to have that mindset, you have to know how corporations work.